All right, welcome to Real Talk. Uh, my name is Landon Hartwick. I'm the Sales Performance Manager here at Encore Wire. We are joined today by Prismian's Joe Moore. He is a field applications manager and one of the leaders in the product that we're going to discuss today, AirGuard. Joe, thanks for joining us. You bet. Yeah. Joe, what is AirGuard? How does it compare to traditional CCW or continuously corrugated and welded cable that is aluminum armored, correct? That's right. Uh, medium voltage air guard is a polymeric armored cable. Uh, it is a suitable replacement for uh, any application in class one division two location uh, where an MCHL cable would typically be installed. Uh, can you explain the key benefits of using air guard cables in industrial applications? Yeah. Uh, air guard, it, it really all starts with the crush resistance of air guard. Um, it is by far the most robust um, cable for medium voltage applications. Uh, it, instead of using a metal clad armoring system, we use a series of layers of, of polymers, resins, uh, that make this cable by far the most robust cable in the industry. Beautiful. And I, I know with this cable, there's a lot of talk about a sidewall bearing pressure. How does that compare to the CCW? Uh, about six times that of MCHL. So the maximum sidewall bearing pressure of medium voltage air guard is 3,000 pounds per radial foot, where wow. MCHL cable is approximately 500 feet. So what that does for you on long, arduous pulls, you're able to um, make longer pulls, uh, make more directional changes without damaging the cable. Uh, the chances of actually having to splice medium voltage air guard are far less, again, because we can get longer lengths. Again, it's all due to the crush rating. It all, it all begins with a crush rating with air guard. Uh, it makes it much more durable, uh, makes for a much more reliable installation. Beautiful. And in terms of environments, like where is AirGuard mostly used, would you say? So we, we sell uh, probably most of our AirGuard in two industries, uh, oil and gas for sure, uh, and then mining. Um, again, both areas require a cable that is gonna stand up to chemical attack, uh, water, dress, water ingress, much of the time, this cable is installed in direct buried or, or duct applications, so it can get pretty nasty there. Um, with the mining industry, we sell this for bolt holes where you're going to have a three or four thousand foot length. Wow! Because again, it all goes back to crush rating and the durability of the cable. We can get much longer lengths mm -hmm. than you can with a traditional MCHL cable, which Prismian sells as well. However, this cable again allows you the longer lengths, fewer splices. Uh, a more reliable installation. Beautiful. And so, you know, what we're looking at here is a medium voltage version. So right. there's also a low voltage as well. That's right. Okay. If you want to get into the differences between the two. Yeah. So they both share similar uh, construction designs. It, it's a, it's the, and the features and benefits are, are very similar. Um, with low voltage air guard, especially with the smaller sizes, the, the instrumentation, small power control cables, you have a cable that is very flexible, right? Wonderful. You cannot do this with an MCHL. Correct. Right. right. I, I can sit here and do this all day. Right. Um, and the nice thing about this cable, whereas medium voltage air guard is suitable for installations in class one, division two locations, mm -hmm. this is actually suitable for class one, division one. Oh, so the most hazardous areas this cable can be installed. Okay. Uh, what's nice about this and what electricians are constantly commenting about is because it won't kink, uh, it, especially in very remote areas, if you kink or, or damage armor cable in, in a divisional location, you've got to replace the cable. Yeah. That's not going to happen here. Right. Joe, uh, what would you say is the difference in construction when you're talking about the MCHL versus AirGuard? Yeah, great question. So MCHL has been around for a long time, 40, 50 years. A uh, good product. However, we feel with AirGuard, we've really leapfrogged from a technology standpoint with this construction. MCHL cable is essentially an aluminum tube that's been corrugated wow. and then the conductors are pulled through and you have fibers and strings to, to kind of fill in the gaps. With AirGuard, instead of using fibers and strings, we use a rubber compound and this rubber compound completely fills the interstices of the, of the cable. So you have a solid round concentric design. Mm -hmm. So it's going to make pulling this cable much easier because you don't have the ridges okay. to the catch it. You know, mm -hmm. during the pull, uh, it's going to make it's going to make going through turns and directional changes just just much easier. And then again, 
we have multiple layers of resin, so we, we, go with, we start with the rubber filler. Then the airbag layer, which it's called airbag, if reason is, because if you look at it underneath a microscope, you see these little pockets of air. And those two layers combined give you the, the, the 3,000 pounds of sidewall bearing mm -hmm. pressure resistance. And then the next layer, which is what we call the dry land layer, which is a combination of an aluminum sheath and a nylon based proprietary compound. Mm -hmm. And that just gives you excellent uh, environmental ingress protection, chemical attack, uh, much gives you much superior protection against chemical attack than aluminum would in, in most cases. And water ingress, water's not getting into this cable, which is one of the main enemies of, of medium voltage cable. Mm -hmm. At all costs, you need to protect the insulation. And this construction is by far the best in the industry. Oh, that's excellent. And then when we talk about accessories and tools, well, what does Prismian offer there? Yeah. So Prismian is unique in the fact that we're the only wire and cable manufacturer that not only makes low voltage to high voltage cable, uh, we also make all the tools and uh, splices, termination kits, no one else does that. So we're able to be a kind of a one-stop shop for a cable installation. Uh, with the medium voltage cable, we have uh, terminations and accessories up to 69 kV. Um, we have all the glands, terminations, splices. We make the best splice in the market hands down. The thing with AirGuard is because of the long lengths we can get, in many cases, we can do a pull without a splice, mm. uh, which is a big cost saver and, again, provides for a very reliable installation. Sure. And we've talked a lot here about long runs and long links. And, yeah. and I know for a fact that the Prismian splice is one of the best in the industry. Yeah. Can down. you talk a little bit more about the splice when we do get into these long runs? Yeah. So the, the Prismian splice is, is just a fantastic product. Um, thing about a splice is, is as good as it is, if you, you don't want to have to install it if you don't have to, right? Uh, it can be costly, uh, it is a, but it is a great product. Um, when we sell a cable or we provide cable to uh, our customer and they use our accessories, right? So let's say it is a super long pull to where you have to use uh, a, a splice or two. Um, we will actually give an extended warranty, a 10 year warranty for the end user, right? So 10 years uh, if they use the accessories. So basically a lug to lug uh, warranty, which no other manufacturer can provide. Again, the glands, the terminations, the splice kit, nobody else can do that. Mm -hmm. And we produce the best in the industry. And then when we talk about uh, air guard reducing total installation costs, yeah. I know the few things we've talked about just now, obviously, work into that, but how, how would you say that AirGuard alone can help you uh, reduce insulation costs? So, so right off the bat, with AirGuard, you don't need a knife or a saw. So, so we're definitely going to save money for, you know, for the contractor. However, it's going to be a much safer installation because with these tools, this would be the, the uh, large conductor size. So anything low voltage, uh, four out and above, you would use this, okay. this tool. You make a, a, a radial cut, a longitudinal cut. I believe we have a video on that. Uh, goes much quicker, uh, and the chances of damaging the cable virtually impossible. Um, the low voltage tool, which is I have here, is what I use for um, the smaller cables. Typically, I can strip a piece of uh, eight pair sixteen instrumentation cable in about thirty seconds. Wow! So, again, much safer, quicker install. Uh, the cost saving is going to be because it's going to strip and prepare easier, right? Um, it is going to take less time. And you talk to a guy who does this, who works with his hands. You know, the contractors, they're working with their hands. And when they see that they don't have to use a knife or saw and don't have to worry about getting cut by the aluminum uh, uh, armor of the mm -hmm. MC cable, man, they're all about it. So we talk about you know, different cables uh, being direct buried. Is this a direct burial yeah. cable? So Prismian realized that there was going to be a need for a change because PILC cable, paper, paper insulated lead cable, contains lead. And that's going to be a problem, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so AirGuard was born. Uh, the use of the dry land layer with the airbag layer is going to provide a very similar protection for cables for direct buried insulation, right? So we're worried about water ingress, chemicals seeping into the ground, and that's kind of the genesis of the AirGuard product. Now, can it be used in other applications? Certainly. Mm -hmm. 
we sell this again. We talked about uh, borehole cables going three, four thousand feet under the under the ground. Uh, tray uh, aerial installation, spinning this cable on on a messenger. You do it all the time. Uh, pull it through duct. It's you know pulling cable through a duct is not an easy process, mm -hmm. but with air guard because again it's very round and centric mm -hmm. construction. It's a better pull through old duct uh, systems uh, than would be a CCW cable with its corrugations on it. So yeah, you can pretty much install this cable anywhere you would a CCW or MCHL cable. Joe, so what, what would you say is a main reason that a contractor and user who has never used AirGuard their entire career, what, what's like the big picture reason you would have them switch over to AirGuard? Right. So it's, it prepares easier. The way this tool is set up, again, the PG tool, is designed to where you can't damage the layer beneath the layer you're removing. Okay. So again, the, the, the chances of the, of the project going long, having to buy more cable because you it was damaged in the field, mm -hmm. um, the chances of it getting kinked during a, a again a long pull um, or getting you know getting caught up uh, coming out of a turn uh, because of the armor kinking, it's just not going to happen. Mm -hmm. So you have a peace of mind that this is going to be a very uh, reliable installation long term. Uh, the 3,000 pound sidewall bearing match rating is basically insurance because if let's say they do tug it maybe a little harder in one direction than they should, chances of air guard passing through and, and, and passing the final testing after installation, probably greater than a cable that is only protected by, you know, a metal clad construction. When people are looking to purchase this product from like a put up standpoint, but also uh, just having an understanding of what we truly offer from low voltage to medium voltage, what, what sizes do you say? What do we cover there? Yeah, great question. Uh, medium voltage cable, we make uh, five through 35 kV. This, again, this is actually a 25 uh, kV cable. And we do make a 69 and 138 kV single conductor high voltage cable, wow. uh, which we've had a lot of success with. Uh, as far as the low voltage cable, we make all the common sizes uh, up to 36 pair in instrumentation. Uh, th we make a three conductor 750 from from three conductor 14 to, to three conductor 750 on wow. the low voltage power side. All the control sizes. So again, if you've been using MCHL your whole life and you want to give us a shot, we have a we have a cable for you. I know there's a lot of support in terms of videos that we offer online uh, collectively. Uh, where would you go to find those and, and what do we actually cover that we can help with from a um, training application? Yeah, so we have our videos online. You can also find them several YouTube videos uh, or air guard videos on YouTube uh, that demonstrate how to strip both the low voltage and the medium voltage cable. Okay. Uh, we also have some videos where we compare the crush resistance of air guard versus uh, MCHL cable where we actually drop a weight on both and demonstrate, again, the crush resistance of AirGuard, uh, which is far superior to the MCHL cable. Joe, thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate your time and your expertise. And I think it's gonna be valuable for all the viewers and, and everyone out there that uh, plans to use this product. Thank, thank you. you. My pleasure.